Toronto Mayor Rob Ford was back at City Hall today for the first time since reports surfaced that he was allegedly caught on video smoking crack cocaine. Despite repeated calls for Ford to respond, the mayor stayed silent today. Though, as Christina Stevens reports, the story remains a big distraction at City Hall. It was another day of dodging questions for Mayor Rob Ford from the moment he left his house in the morning. To literally turning his back on reporters in the elevator at City Hall. Mayor Ford, what do you have to say about the video? Ford was consistent in his refusal to answer any questions. No matter how hard reporters pushed him, he did speak in City Council but kept to the script and the topic being debated. Toronto does not support a new casino in the C1 zone. It's ridiculous, guys. Other than calling it ridiculous on Friday, Ford's continued silence about the unverified video allegedly showing him smoking crack cocaine was deafening to some councillors. He should tell us what's happened. He should come clean on this. Whereas others say if there's no proof, no comment is necessary. He's probably just sitting back and saying if, if you've got a video, then, then show it. While two media outlets, the Toronto Star and a gossip website, Gawker.com, claim to have seen it, the video itself has yet to be released. The man behind the video, who claims to be Ford's drug dealer, is trying to sell it for six figures. Gawker has started an online campaign to raise $200,000 to buy the video. They're nearly halfway there. It's checkbook journalism. This journalism professor says buying the video raises ethical questions because the person selling it is involved, so might have an agenda. Will it mean that they want to give you what they think you're asking for? So there could be deceit, there could be doctoring. There are many things that could go on when money corrupts the process. With or without the video itself, this former politician says the damage to Ford's reputation has already been done. And that's one of the sad parts of politics in 2013. Um, but now that's why he's got to clear the air, though, one way or the other, so that we do, uh, you know, see what, what his position on this is. But so far, Ford has made it clear his position is silence. Christina Stevens, Global News, Toronto.